hi everyone uh, welcome to this session so today we will be solving uh, this uh, interesting interview question okay so basically we can see uh, this is a uh, mos based circuit with capacitors and there are two capacitors uh, on capacitor like both are having capacitance of value c and on capacitor is uh, charged to like initially charged to this two voltage okay and other capacitor is initially charged to zero volt okay so let's solve this so basically this is previously charged to two volt and this is previously charged to zero volt okay so this is previously zero uh, charged to zero volt or this is uncharged okay and we need to find what will be the uh, what will be the steady state voltage at this node okay this vx okay so how can we go for the solution so basically this type of circuit for steady state we know id will be zero okay so uh, id can be zero for two condition one is vd will be vs and if the vgs is less than vtn right so these two conditions makes our steady state okay so basically here two capacitors is present so we can use directly the charge sharing the, the like the charge conservation law right so if we do charge conservation law what will be the case so basically if we do so this is like total total initial charge will be equal to total, total final charge right so what will be the total initial charge so total initial charge will be charge across this this c and charge across this c with the uh, like uh, this is total charge right initially so this will be nothing but 2 volt into this capacitor c okay and uh, okay let's this is c1 and this is c2 and we are taking c1 equal c2 equal c okay so this will be our uh, 2 into c1 plus 0 volt into c2 right because this this was initially charged to 0 volt okay and what will be our final charge so basically if our vds will be vd will be vs so this voltage will be equal to this voltage right so there will be vx times c1 plus vx times c2 right vx times c2 so this will be our uh, final charge so if we do that so we will get we will be getting 2c will be equal to uh, 2 times c into vx okay so here we can see that vx will be 1 voltage okay so we can see that the steady state voltage will be 1 voltage but is this correct you think this is not correct right because we can see that if this is 1 volt so this vg will be also 1 volt okay and vs this will be our vs right the source voltage so we can see that the vg s becomes zero okay but we can see that we know that the vgs must be at least uh, like equal to the vtn okay so that the mosfet cannot right so basically here in this case if this is on voltage and this is on voltage so our vts becomes zero right and it is very 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 less than our threshold voltage of 0 0.5 volt so basically before like this capacitor is discharging right this capacitor is discharging in this way and this capacitor is charging so when we, we can see that this capacitor is discharging in this path and this capacitor is charging but when like before reaching on volt this cap like before the this c2 capacitor charge to on voltage before like like uh, before many times like uh, what i can say like uh, uh, whenever this capacitance charges to 1 voltage before that this MOSFET is already off right because the VGS is very very less than VTN okay like this condition happens before this condition okay so basically this voltage this capacitor C2 cannot be charged to 1 voltage okay like it will charge up to some voltage less than 1 and then the VGS be becomes VTN okay so this condition appears first and this makes our steady state id equals to zero okay so how to find that so we can do trial and error method right let's say this uh, let's say this will be less than one right so if we take uh, let's say uh, let's say 0 0.8 voltage okay then what will be our case so let's say this is our vs will be 0 
so again we can use the charge sharing uh, charge sharing uh, condition right so our initial charge was 2c and our final charge will be the voltage at this node so let's say this is our vd times 2 uh, vd times c and we are taking the vs will be 0 0.8 okay so 0 0.8 times c okay so what will be our vd let's say so our vd will be so so this okay so this will be 1.2 volt right vd now we can see that if vd is 1.2 so our vs will be 1.2 as well right now what is the vgs so our vg is 1.2 and vs is 0 0.8 so this is our vg vgs so this is nothing but 0 0.4 right so this is less than vtn right because our vtn is 0 0.5 so actually this voltage cannot charge to 0 0.8 voltage as well so it will charge like lower than 0 0.8 voltage so that we can make the vgs becomes uh, VGS becomes uh, uh, like uh, 0 0.5 voltage. Okay, so this is our VTN. So up to that point, our ID becomes zero. Okay, now what we can do? So if we do trial and error, like if like our we are assuming VS will be 0 0.8 first case. So you can use VS will be 0 0.6 volt as well. So if if you do that, you have to check always where like at which condition VGS becomes VTN. Okay, so this 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 gives us id equal to 0 and this is our steady state so if you do that you will find if we take vs will be if we take vs is 0 0.75 so let's say this is our condition okay so what we will get so we will get uh, 2c was our initial charge and our final charge will be vd times c plus 0 0.75 times c so we can see that our vd here will be uh, uh, 1.25 uh, volt right so what will be our vgs now so our vgs will be now so this will be our vg as well vd right our vd is equal to vg right so this will be 1.25 minus 0 0.75 so actually this is giving our 0 0.5 volt so actually after doing trial and error so we are getting the steady state value of vs will be 0 0.5 okay and this makes steady state and this makes this condition happens okay so here id becomes zero but there i am telling now another approach how to do that okay uh, without doing any trial and error method okay so let me draw the picture again okay so this is our picture this is our drain and this cap is charged to 2 volt initially and there is a cap of capacitance c and we have to find this vs and the drain and source the drain and gate is connected okay so what we can do we know that this voltage this voltage must be greater than one threshold of this voltage we know that right like we know vgs must be equal to vtn to make id like like if if, if this is this condition id becomes zero so maximum we can we can do like maximum of this vgs can be like this we can assume this is the condition so that we can the steady state voltage okay so we know that the the VG, vs value will be on threshold lower than this vg right we, we know that like what i am telling is so vg minus vs will be vtn so our vs will be vs will be vg minus vtn right so basically this potential will be lower than on threshold okay so let's say so this is our so this is our uh, let's say this is our vx okay so if we do mathematical calculation this vs will be nothing but vx minus vtn right okay now we can use the charge sharing uh, charge sharing rules okay so the initial charge was 2c and final charge will be nothing but vx times c plus vx minus vt times c right because this is our steady state voltage at this node now and the steady state voltage of the node is now this okay and we are replacing vs equal to in this way okay now do that so we can we are having 2c will be uh, this will be uh, vx times t minus uh, okay I'm, I'm, okay let me check okay so our vgs will be vtn so our 
vs vs will be uh, vg minus okay huh, okay so this is correct right so if we do that uh, so vx times c um, okay this will be plus right this is not minus this is the total charge okay so this is plus so this will be vx times c again and minus uh, vt n times c okay so we are having so cc cancel right so this will be 2 will be equal to uh, 2 vx minus vtn right so we are having 2 minus 0 0.5 will be our 2 vx this will be nothing but uh, our uh, uh, 1.5 right so our vx will be nothing but 0 0.75 so this is the mathematical uh, intuitive way so we can reach our final steady state voltage okay so this is the same answer so you can do the trial and error method to 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 get the answer and you can use this concept as well okay because this this potential must be uh, on, th uh, on threshold lower than this gate voltage okay so this is the concept so i think uh, you like this video so and you can please give your valuable feedback okay so this is a very good question okay so thank you everyone